Hello YouTube, Wes here for Beer Geek Photography. Welcome back out to the Morningside Nature Center here in Gainesville, Florida. Beautiful day out here today. You see we have these beautiful wildflowers blooming, got plenty of butterflies and bees and all kinds of insects out and about doing their thing. Lots of nature out here and really enjoying it. So uh, it's a beautiful day to be outside. I'm out here testing out a telephoto lens from Canon. This is the EFS 55 to 250 IS Mark II lens. This is probably one of the most budget telephoto lenses you're gonna find for the Canon EOS cameras that have a crop sensor in them. That's gonna be your T4i, T3i, T6i, uh, your 70D, your 60D, your 80D, uh, those kind of cameras, uh, 7D Mark I, 7D Mark II, those are also crop sensor. Anything with an APS-C sensor in it, this lens is gonna work on. Uh, the 55 to 250 offers a really good value, I think, when it comes to telephoto lenses. Uh, they do have a newer version of this lens that features the STM autofocus motoring, the silent autofocus. Uh, so this lens can be found for a very, very low price, uh, right, right down around $100. Uh, you can find this lens if you're willing to buy used or open box kind of thing. Uh, new, you're probably going to pay maybe $150 to $200, somewhere in that range. But this lens offers quite a bit of value, I think. I've been really impressed with the picture quality from this lens. I've been pretty impressed with the handling of the lens. Uh, the build quality is, while it's not pro level build quality, it does feel pretty solid in the hands. Uh, it's a nice solid feel, nice, very nice smooth focusing, or nice zooming ring on here, really nice and wide. This does have the image stabilization in it, which is really nice, which allows you to to shoot at lower shutter speeds than you'd traditionally be able to shoot at with a telephoto lens, particularly on a crop sensor body. You, know, you wanna be shooting at well over 300, 300th of a second with a lens like this without image stabilization. With, it, with this image stabilization in here, you can drop that number down quite a bit and still get nice, sharp, crisp images. Uh, this lens does have a plastic mount on it, which is, uh, Sometimes and not such a great thing. If your camera does happen to fall with this lens attached, the, the lens mount is gonna break. I pretty much guarantee it. Uh, that's probably a better thing that a $100 lens breaks rather than your 500 to $1,000 camera. Uh, so that is uh, something to keep in mind if you have this lens. Uh, but that being said, being how this lens has a lot of plastic in it and it's compact, it's, uh, it's very lightweight. It's very easy to carry. Uh, it's not real large for a particular lens. I have a 70 to 300 millimeter lens that's well over twice this size and doesn't offer that much more as far as range. So that's really nice that this lens is nice and compact. I find the focusing on this lens to be very fast, very accurate, even though this does have the uh, this does have a servo motor focusing, so it's gonna make some noise when you do focus. It's not super loud, it's not annoying, it's not hunting around, it sort of just focuses right to where you need to be and locks on and works pretty well in that respect. So yeah, really nice telephoto lens from Canon here. I wanna show you some image samples that I took and taken with this lens uh, today and, and few, uh, few past visits here and let you know, see what you think of these pictures and give you an idea of what kind of images you can make with this lens and uh, we'll be back to wrap things up. So check out the sample images right now. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed taking a look at those sample images. As I said, this lens is, is really useful. Uh, 
produces really nice image quality. I'm really impressed with it so far. As I said, if you're looking, if you're not sure about getting into telephoto lens territory, if you're not sure it's gonna be something you will use, uh, this can be a really affordable way for you to give it a try without spending a lot of money. And uh, if you do find you like it, this lens uh, delivers the quality, it delivers the goods, it delivers what you want. So if you wanna check out this EFS 55 to 250 lens for yourself, I will leave links down in the show notes below on where you can find it online to buy it. I appreciate if you use those links when you do any shopping online. Uh, it helps me out and uh, helps me to make more reviews like this. So. Thanks for watching this review of the EFS 55 to 250. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, let your, know, let your friends know. Enjoy your photography, get out, have fun, enjoy yourself, have a great day, great night, make great images, and we'll see you again next time. Cheers.